In this week's episode, Dallas Safari Club's controversial elephant hunt is called off, paralyzed rats get a second chance at walking, could vaccinations and badger calls for good, and a lovelorn porcupine takes mating matters into its own hands. Or pause. It's all coming up in your two-minute blast of wildlife news. Starting in the States, where the Dallas Safari Club has canceled plans to auction off an African elephant hunt after the hunt's donor withdrew, the club faced international criticism last year for auctioning a permit to shoot an endangered black rhino, and while elephants aren't a listed species, conservation organizations are glad the hunt is off. Over to England and a hunt of a different kind. Scientists in Cornwall are hunting badgers to give them vaccines. It's hoped the vaccination scheme will halt the spread of bovine TB from hotspots around southwest England, making it a good alternative to culling. In more good news, New South Wales Labour Party leader Luke Foley has proposed a 315,000 hectare koala reserve. The reserve would be a first for Australia and was modeled after China's panda reserves, which cover a million hectares of World Heritage listed forests. If carried through, the park will protect 20% of the state's 4,500 wild koalas. On to this week's weirdest. A rubbery silicone ribbon laced with cracked bits of gold that transmit nerve signals has been spliced into the spinal cords of paralyzed rats, restoring their ability to move. The implant may be the first step towards helping paralyzed people in the same way. Moving is definitely out of the question for the geographic cone snail's prey. Scientists from the University of Utah found the sluggish snails hunt by overdosing fish with a toxic cloud of insulin, which throws the victim into a low blood sugar-induced stupor. Staying in the sea, it turns out that elephant seals, those big-nosed sunbathers we usually see tossing sand on the shore, are quite adventurous in their marine habitat and travel much farther from their Pacific Coast home than we thought. Two seals tagged by researchers at UC Santa Cruz even crossed the international date line, putting them closer to Russia than California. And speaking of Russia, after she was found orphaned by poachers, alone and frostbitten, Zalushka the Amur tiger has returned to the wild. Named after the Russian version of Cinderella, this big cat certainly deserves a fairy tale ending. Experts hope she will play a role in recolonizing the Bastak Reserve, where her kind once roamed free. We're wrapping up with a safari soap opera. Zookeepers at Israel's Ramat Gan were shocked to find that Dorit, one of the park's porcupines, was secretly meeting with a gentleman caller outside of her holding pen. As it turns out, the wild suitor was visiting his lady love every night, accounting for the mysterious droppings left behind. That's it for this week, but don't forget to get in touch via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time!